Hello Internet, Josh Gary from JoshG.TV and if you're watching this you probably already know the Halo Reach multiplayer beta has finally come to an end and JoshG.TV for all you guys that didn't catch it I'm gonna let you know what you missed and if it's worth just pulling your hair out for. Now to start off the Halo Reach multiplayer beta is exactly what it sounds like. It is the multiplayer version of the new game coming out this fall, Halo Reach. Now, it is the beta of the multiplayer alone. I want to go ahead and clarify that as soon as possible because a lot of people are saying, hey, what is the campaign like? Uh, what's the storyline like? It's just the multiplayer. Now, the multiplayer itself if you've played Halo 3 or Halo 2, not much has changed. There are some new armor abilities, uh, which, you know, you had pickups in Halo 3 where you had the active camo and the little bubble shield and all that stuff. And in this one, you can actually choose when you activate it. You can actually choose what you activate. You've got armor lock, which has a nifty little laminate animation. You have the active camo. You have sprint. And all you Boba Fett fans, you've got a jetpack. Now, there are downsides to this. If you use it, a little meter starts, you can only use it for X amount of time, and then when you're done using it, you have to wait for the cooldown to go off before you can start using it again. Now, because it was a beta, they didn't have the entire thing available. So, you only got to play with some of these abilities on a few maps. Three or four maps, maybe two or three different types of games, and they have a new game type to the Halo franchise called Invasion, which if you played any of the Battlefield games and you've played Rush, it's basically the same thing. It's shorter than an average Battlefield Rush game, but it's kind of the same premise where you try to get a, a checkpoint or a control point, and then when you get it, then it expands and, and just keeps opening up the map. Now, because this is a beta review, I'm not going to give it a score, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. If you're a big fan of the Halo multiplayer series, you're going to like Halo Reach's multiplayer because it's taken what was popular with Halo 2 and Halo 3 and expanded it a little bit. Now, if you are a big Modern Warfare 2 fan or a Battlefield Bad Company 2, any of those, you're not really going to like the Halo Reach multiplayer, in my honest opinion, because of the customization that you get in Battlefield and Modern Warfare 2, Halo's pales in comparison. You spend your XP and you can customize your armor or your helmet, you can make it look any way you want, and then you get a couple different loadout options. And that's it for customization. You do have the core Halo multiplayer gameplay, but really that's about it. So, without going into too much and not giving a score, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this. If you like Halo multiplayer, you're going to like Halo Reach multiplayer. If you're not a big fan, you didn't miss out on a lot. So, when the game does come out later this fall, hopefully, unless it gets delayed, November, October-ish, I think, something like that, I will give a full review on it with score and everything. So, if you missed the Halo Reach multiplayer beta, don't sweat it. It really wasn't that big of a deal. 